Hello everyone, welcome to JS and RS Solution YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing well. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to determine groundwater flow direction in ArcGIS and how to display a flow direction arrows and making a flow direction map. I hope uh, you find this video uh, helpful. Uh, let's get started. So you can see over here study area, show file, and uh, then uh, groundwater point, groundwater level point, and this is the uh, IDW of uh, groundwater level. So uh, now I will show how to perform a uh, groundwater flow direction mapping. So for that, go to special analyze tools and then hydrology, and then our uh, fill double click on fill and add uh, idw file as uh, input surface raster and you can save your output file from uh, this option and then go to environments and here you will find uh, processing extent extent will be a uh, study area same as layer as uh, a study area and then um, go to raster analysis and here uh, mask will be a study area as well and then click ok you can see a uh, fill operation has been done and after that uh, click uh, flow direction from hydrology tool and then uh, add fill that I have done as input uh, surface raster and you can save your file and then go to again environments and processing extent will be um, study area same as layer study area and then uh, again go to raster analysis and max data will be uh, study area as well and then click ok and ok so a uh, flow direction operation has been done and now i will check uh, the resolution i mean a special extent uh, of flow direction go to properties and then go to source and you can see here the cell size um, um, i just copy a uh, cell size because uh, i will perform a uh, resample so go to search option and write resample and click search and then uh, resample click here our uh, resample uh, just add uh, flow direction as input raster and here I ha I I copied the um, um, yep cell size from here and just paste it here and just I also paste it here X and Y and uh, I will uh, delete just one uh, zero from here and go to uh, environments and processing extent uh, same as study area and from um, raster analysis it will be as also a study area and after that click OK and click OK you can see over here uh, resampling has been done and uh, now uh, I will perform raster to point so you can write here raster to point in search option and also you can also find uh, these tools and yeah uh, you will find here raster to point you can also find this uh, tool uh, from uh, arc toolbox just go to conversion tools and um, from raster you will find here also raster to point this is also one of the uh, technique to get the your desired tools also you can uh, find from a search option 
anyway and here uh, just add uh, flow direction uh, resampling file as input raster and you can also save it output raster uh, from your pc uh, in your pc in any folder and again uh, processing extent uh, will be start area same as and raster analysis uh, marks data also start area and then click ok and uh, you can see here uh, raster to point uh, operation has been also done and if uh, yeah you can see raster to point data if i uh, go to open attribute table then you can see the grid code grid code 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 yep so right click and go to properties and uh, go to symbology and categories and here value field uh, it will be a uh, grid code and then click add all values you can see here uh, some values uh, yeah you just uh, need this uh, 8 uh, direction per point model and also 8 direction per point angle so based on this uh, we need to put the angle point here you can see 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 and 128 so first uh, for one if you uh, don't find this uh, um, this symbol just write cut see you double t and you will find this and after that just uh, click and you can also save this uh, symbol at any name so i'm just saving is as point and select and uh, select size so uh, I'm keeping it uh, 12 within 12 I mean 11 and then uh, I need to uh, put the angle point for on uh, a direction power point angle will be 90 so I'll put here 90 for on and then click OK and you can see here the symbol Yeah, it has been added here also the direction for one and again uh, uh, I will go to the properties and then uh, I will uh, do for two so right click uh, here and uh, click symbol and then size and then for two uh, it will be 45 angle so right here 45 for two uh, yeah, and then click OK and for 4 select uh, symbol and then uh, yeah size and then for 4 uh, direction it will be 0 and click OK and for 8 For 8, uh, it is uh, minus 45. So I, I'm writing here yeah, minus 45 for 8. And then click OK. For 16. So similarly, uh, I have done for all, uh, yeah, all uh, 8 direction based on this 8 direction per model. And uh, if I check IDW ground router, you can see the flow direction. And uh, now I will perform contour. Just write contour and then you will get this. Just right click, uh, double click here and uh, input raster will be uh, IDW ground router. And then uh, contour interval 
I'm giving two and then go to environments and processing extent will be study area as before and then uh, um, raster analysis uh, marks data uh, yeah, it, it will be also a study area and then click OK and OK so uh, contour uh, also has been done you can change the color from here and uh, just go to properties uh, to check in the level contour and check the label feature in the layer and click ok so contour label uh, is showing now you can see here the follow direction with contour mm, uh, idw I hope uh, you found this tutorial useful. Now you can confidently create a groundwater flow direction map. Uh, anyway, uh, if you appreciate my efforts, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, JSN RS Solution. Um, see you in the next video. Uh, until then, take care and stay happy.